Hey guys, this is Kirby. So, uh, somebody asked me how to use Fraps. So I got Fraps open here, and I was just going to quickly show you guys pretty much how to use it. So you have this general tab. Shows clearly that it is registered. FPS tab. I have all my stuff going to D, Fraps, Benchmarks. There's that button. I don't play with these buttons. Movies, D, Fraps, Movies. F9 is the capture key. Now, here's the kicker. Fraps only works while you're playing games. If you're looking at your desktop, you better use Bandicam. See? Desktop capture. Bandicam. Fraps only captures actual games. And you'll know you're capturing the game when you're in the game and you have these settings set up correctly. And you'll see in the corner that you're actually playing the game. So, I'll go ahead and boot up a game for you guys to just check out and then I'll press F9 in the game and then you can see oh okay he's now recording the game so let's open Minecraft let Minecraft boot up so here you go in the top left corner 30 frames per second. I'm going to hit F9. Now it's red. That tells me that Fraps is recording. Jump in a game, play a selected world. The frames are going to drop when you first load. They should go back up to 30. If your computer's kind of meh, then you might not get to load it correctly. So here we are, my random map here. <laughs> Die, cow, die, pig. Okay, I'm done recording. I'm happy. F9. Save and quit. Close this. So I have Frap still open. If I were to hit F9 right now, it'd probably not work or bong, make that Windows noise. Let's go to the folder. D. Sorry, my crazy dog. D. Fraps. Bam, bam. Movies. Here is the movie I just recorded. Now, as you guys can see in this video that I recorded, um, you can't hear my voice and you can't see my webcam. That's because in Fraps, I didn't set those settings. So here's Fraps once again. It's going to record the Windows 7 sound in the stereo. If I were to check record external input, it would be recording my webcam right now. And if I click this checkbox, it would only do that when I press space. That's if you want to do like a commentary, but you don't want to overpower the video with your own voice. Last section is screenshots. You guys might not use this. It's actually kind of helpful if you're trying to make really cool thumbnail thumbnails for your video. So definitely don't pick bitmap, it's going to be the biggest picture. Either pick JPEG or PNG. And lastly, if you guys are looking to record your desktop, use this program, Bandicam. It's going to do a lot better job. It's going to be way easier. There's these awesome, easy settings here. Webcam tab, percentage of how big you want it. Throw a logo in all your videos. Do effects when you move your mouse around. If you guys enjoyed this video, please throw me a like if you want sub for some more stuff just like this. Thank you.